art business in a lavish Joburg mall is a world away from the little town of Wienen in KZN. Tandi Sabisi bridges these two worlds, living in one and carrying the other wherever she goes. When Tandi Sabisi arrived in Joburg at the age of 17, she had never seen a double story building in her life. Eight years later, not only is she a multi-business owner, but the first black female to own a gallery. One of nine children, the focus that's seen her establish marketing, trading and media companies has also seen Tundi start a charity foundation. As for art, that is her pleasure. I think what fascinates me most about you is that you're a young black female who owns an art gallery. Art has always been a part of me and I decided to explore more so that's when I actually packed my bags and decided to travel through Europe for a full year just to learn about art only to find out that it actually is the love of my life. When opening this gallery the main thing to do was to try by all means to promote South African artists which I hold the most passion for so we showcase modern and contemporary works. The key is getting potential buyers to relate to the work. This is definitely one of the most amazing covers. This is actually one of my most favorite artworks in the gallery and it's a Steve Beagle. It was a magazine cover in 1977. And this one? This is a Johann Schoenfeld and it's an RDP house in Soweto and it was done in 2000. You've got some really interesting pieces. I love that one. Well, this is an oil painting by Walter Bertis. I actually learned about him at school, can you believe it? Isn't he fantastic? Really, really great. Yeah. Whether customers identify with the beauty or with the subject matter, Tundi needs to know the story behind every piece. You spend a lot of time with the artists who exhibit here. I in fact spend all my time with artists and I think we should go and visit Mbongeni Vitelezi right now. I'd love to meet yeah. him. Yay, <laughs> let's go for it. The art bug bit when Tundi was well on her way with her marketing agency. Whilst promoting the 2010 Soccer World Cup, the work she did with arts and culture saw her fall head over heels for our South African heritage at the genius of artists like Mongeni Butelezi. Mongeni! Hello. How are you doing? Good to know you, Tandy. It's lovely to meet Good you. Good to meet you too. I really have no words to describe this work. It's just totally magnificent. Our theme is Inviso. Um, Inviso means um, celebration. We are celebrating our coming together, you know, of two families, you know, CBC and uh, Butelezi. You know, for me, Tandy is, is so dynamic, you know, that what she has done, you know, with this gallery, you know, she brings a completely different energy, you know, to the arts. Tandi, you work with tons of African artists, but what attracts you to Mbogeni's work? What he does with his technique, it's just, you know, it's just so liberating. So I'm so pleased to be working with him. This particular piece, you know, that I'm working on right now, um, it is going to be our centerpiece. What I'm planning to do is to have, you know, some works or plastics scattered all over the floor. But eventually, you know, that will give the sense that the work emerges, you know, from the floor onto the wall. And I think that's going to be extremely exciting because I know that I've done this in the past, but in a slightly different way. Well, I must tell you, you both make me so proud to be South African. The GPS coordinates of Tundi's village are tattooed on her back, whilst her home is in the forward-looking new town. Almost everything about you is unpredictable. I love the city. I mean, it's alive, it's trendsetting, it's authentic. In fact, I just, I couldn't live anywhere else. <laughs> Having her own spot is very welcome after spending a year on a learning trip around Europe's galleries, living from her suitcase and staying with curators. Her apartment is a travelogue. My goodness, this is so beautiful. Did you put this together all yourself? Absolutely. You know, the minute I walked into this apartment for the very first time, I just knew everything had to be brand new. Through traveling around the world, in all my favorite places, I just had to pick pieces that were very special to me to bring back home. I see you're an avid art collector yourself. I started with collecting and moved on into being a gallerist. and you know, I collect art from all over the world, but the most important art to me is South African art. I mean, you look at the pieces like Nelson Makamo right there, you look at um, Roger Butembe, you look at Andrew Shabang, you know, and there's just no way you wouldn't fall in love with it. 
And when buyers fall in love with the work, they pay anything from a few thousand to a few hundred thousand, which buys a good few heels, after the artist has been paid, of course. You've literally surprised me the entire day. I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Apparently, you've always wanted to do ballet, and I hope in the midst of all these shoes, you have a pair of ballet shoes. I do, in fact. <laughs> <Hey. Tessa Pinsco. laughs> It's incredible that for a woman who's talking of opening branches of Sabisi in London and Paris, the modest ambition of taking ballet classes is something she still hasn't done. Well, that's what friends like Top Billing are here for. I'm so happy we could do this. You know, this has always been a childhood dream for me, and it's just that my parents couldn't afford it. So here we are. Well, Tandy, you need to know, sweet Lorna's gone. The Russian ballerina has arrived. In class, quickly. Mm -hmm. Working on her ballet moves does not mean her business brain gets a break. Before class was done, she told us her next project is a lifestyle center near the cradle of humankind, and that she's given herself 12 months to do. When she'll get the plie perfect, she isn't saying. Stop, really. 